Shall I have a moan about anything else? <laughs> oh, I hate winter. Good morning, welcome back. Oh, it's about eight o'clock. It's Saturday the 11th, I want to say. You know me. Um, it looks lovely out there, blue sky. Got a condensation on the windows, so that means it's cold. So I'm gonna wrap up, take Jenny out and then go for my walk. My exercise walk as well. And then I'm working in the shop this morning. I don't really feel in the mood for it. I've gone off the shop. Just wanna move and get on with stuff. So frustrating. We're still waiting. It's getting to the point where we are thinking of putting it back on the market, but um, it's, yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, oh, you know when you set your heart on something and you're all ready to go and then it all goes tits up, I think is the expression. Yeah, I've been really trying to keep positive and stay you know it'll happen it's fine when it's right it'll happen but i really thought that when i closed my shop and we got so far with all things it would happen and now it feels like it's not happening <laughs> so um yeah and today i'm just feeling a bit i didn't sleep great um I, <sighs> it's the thing with sharing a bed with somebody else, isn't it? My husband was sleeps on that side, I sleep on this side, and I felt like I was hanging off the edge of the bed all night because he was taking up all the space. But I was in a, like a half sleepy thing. And when I woke up at six o'clock, I realised it wasn't him taking up all the space, it was a pillow that he'd put in between us for some reason. No idea why. But so basically I'd been sleeping like this all night because he'd put a pillow there. I'm like, so he's apologised this morning, but I feel grumpy because I feel achy. Shall I have a moan about anything else? <laughs> oh, I hate winter. I did sort out that suitcase of stuff. So I'd packed my clothes months ago put some of my winter stuff away and holiday clothes you know like bikinis and dresses that you only wear on holiday that kind of thing I put them all in a suitcase um and I brought it up weeks ago to sort through to pull out the winter stuff uh, and I finally got around to doing that yesterday and um there wasn't actually that much in there there was a couple of jumpers but there was about five or six pairs of um jeans um, and they were all ones that don't fit me at the moment. And uh, I'd kept them because they're in really good condition. I just need to lose a bit of weight to fit in them. And I'm like, well, I know that weight loss isn't my big thing at the moment. I'm just trying to be healthy. So the numbers don't really matter. But I don't want to throw the jeans away. If I do lose any weight, <laughs> they'll be fine. So I'm like... I think I've got five pairs of jeans and then I've got some really lovely green cords in one of my try-ons. I can't remember where they were from. And they do fit, but they just feel a bit restricting. Um, so they're all in my cupboard now in the hope that I can fit in them again anytime. I should have just put them in the case because it's not going to be in the next few months, is it? Um... We've been, we've been pretty good. We got back on plan again. But last night, we'd had a big meal at lunchtime. We'd had like meatballs with sauce and loads of veg. It's one of our favourites at the moment. So we're having it quite often. Um, and then we weren't really hungry for tea. And then we'd got some cobs, as we call them in Nottingham. Rolls, bread rolls, um, from the place that um, I told you they they get food that's getting near date or whatever and they give it away to save it going to landfill and um so we've got these cobs 
and uh, we both said, my husband said, oh, I really fancy a cheese and onion cob. And I was like, oh yeah, I do as well. Donkey's years ago, I used to work in WH Smith in Vicky Centre in Nottingham. I think there's a few people in Nottingham who watch the vlogs. Uh, I used to work in Vicky Centre and before that, because he's obviously so much older than me, not really, uh, my husband worked in, they had a wool shop in Vicky Centre, his parents did and he worked there. So we'd both worked in Vicky Centre in our early years and we both used to go to, on Vicky Market, there was a marketplace within the Victoria Centre, um, there was a, a stand and they used to make cheese and onion cobs and they were just like best, they were crusty cobs with lo lots of cheese and lots of onion, just really simple. Uh, but we both used to love those. So last night we had a bit of a, a reminiscent moment and had cheese and onion cobs for our tea sat in front of watching Big Brother on the telly <laughs> because it's so much warmer under a duvet on the, on the sofa than it is sitting at the table. Height of laziness. Um, right, but that's not going to help me get into my jeans, is it? Cheese and onion cobs. I know I'm a bit red in the face, but I've been walking fast and uphill. <laughs> I've been doing this for a few weeks now, just walking around. I'm trying to extend my walk to make it a bit longer um, and go at a good pace to keep to keep the exercise going. And I'm finding that I'm finding it easier. I'm not as out of breath when I get to the top of the hills, and I'm managing to keep up the pace more. So hopefully my fitness is getting better. My overall fitness over the last 10 years has gone down considerably. I used to run five times a week, play badminton three times a week, go to the gym occasionally, even used to play squash on the odd occasion with my husband. So, and now, <laughs> nothing. My hope is that I can get myself to a certain level of fitness before we move so that the whole moving process is a lot easier and also when we're settled I want to find a badminton club and start badminton again because I absolutely loved it and I only stopped because life got a bit in the way I got about a depression and then my dad got ill and then I just got out of the flow of it all it's a stunning day that blue sky it's so nice after all the rain we've had to have some blue sky so I make the most of it I've got a feeling it's about quarter to ten and I said I'd be in the shop at ten so I need to put my foot down <laughs> of having the closed shop now is that I can go to things that I couldn't go to before. This, they do um, a Christmas tree festival at the church every, every year in December or the end of November and it always coincided with my late night shopping night so I could never go. So I'm really looking forward to going to the Christmas tree festival in the church because the church is absolutely stunning. It's a stunning building. And uh, I used to love it when the kids had choir uh, Christmas carol concerts, they used to do them here and it was lovely. It's the only time I ever came to the church. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to going to the Christmas tree festival, although I've got a funny feeling it coincides with the one weekend that we're going away. <laughs> that just came upon me then. Whew, I'm really worn. I've been back about five minutes, but I've not cooled down yet. And I've put my jumper on because it's cool in the shop, I know that. I've got myself a new co another coffee. Um, I'm just going to 
to switch my computer on and choose a wax melt. Now what am I going to choose? I think all these boxes look the same. Oh, that's the jewellery. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to try one of the new ones. Frankincense Myrrh or Pink Fizz. I'm going to try this one, I think. Shut the box. Keeps the fragrance in. I feel like it's a while since I did this type of vlog because I did a try on and I did mooch around Ikea and that things. So I'm going to say some thank yous. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but I don't want to miss anybody out. So thank you to Susan and Janet, Jean, Janice, Lyndon, Helen and Elaine for all ordering on my website. I really do appreciate it because I've got hardly any other income coming in at the moment. So it, it does mean a lot. Um, and also to Jean who ordered via my Avon link because then I do earn a tiny bit of commission. Uh, I have got things to do. What have I got to do? I don't know. My brain's all over the place. Okay, I lied. I think the last vlog that I did was a vlog. <laughs> last video that I did was a vlog. I'll tell you what, I don't know whether I'm coming or going, I don't know what day of the week it is, I don't know the time of day anymore. I seem to live in jogging bottoms and pyjamas. What's going on? My world is topsy-turvy. Right, I'm going to find some things to list, do a bit of listing and uh, my customer that was coming has come already so that's good. That is good, I've sold another job lot so excellent i just had to google what pomelo is because i didn't know it's apparently it's a fruit um because the wax melt smells absolutely stunning but it reminds me of something that i know i don't know what a pomelo fruit is i've never had one of those i think it's more like roses you know like in the summer when you walk past old-fashioned roses and they smell amazing that's what that reminds me of beautiful um yeah that's all i've got to say um, I've got Jack's, Jack Parrish's uh, vlog about his going to the reseller meetup in Newcastle, I think it was. Yeah, Newcastle. Got that on in the background. And I'm going to list some things on my website. So I'll show you them. Because it's easier for me to show you them. Take loads of photos and upload them to my website because it clocks up my website if I've got too many photos. So I've got these, which are the Hear No, See No, Speak No Evil. Um, carvings made out of bone can you see so that's this see no evil like that um speak no evil and hear no evil um if you like the slightly sinister and dark then those are cool uh, I've got this gorgeous little box it feels plasticky it's got red velvet inside got beautiful birds I think is this one signed no I can't see a signature on it but it's got this lovely gold sort of decoration around there that you often get with the Russian boxes but um I can't see a signature on it anywhere can you see the little nest of baby birds there that's lovely that's going on my website as is this little box a little round box can you see the lady with the doves that looks like an elephant in the background but i think that's the sky <laughs> so i'm not quite sure working that out beautiful little box that's the inside so that's pretty and then another box because i like boxes is this one this is a sick like a cigar box so it's wooden on the inside like that then it's got brass and this copper and silver inlay and in really fine detail. Can you see? And this has been left so you could have an engraving done in there to be given as a special gift. It goes round like that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's going on my website. Is that everything? Oh no. I have got these Christmas decorations. Hang on. <laughs> so I've got a few sets that I've made up of these metal decorations. These were all fair trade ones from India. They're made out of metal and then hand finished. They've got like these transfers and then gold edges. Now they are, they're not perfect. Can you see? The gold's been sort of put on, but they're all handmade. So they all vary slightly. This one's got a slight mark on it, but I've got a feeling that's just where it just needs a wipe because it's a bit of the things come off. 
but they have got the odd mark or whatever on them like that um and there's a few different sets so there's a the green set there's a darkish red set there's a pink set the pink ones there's only three in there there's an orange set and then there's a mixed set um so i'm getting all of those on today Just watching jack's um vlog and uh I'd love to have the confidence to travel around more and stuff. Traveling is something that I get really anxious about. I'm comfortable in my own home and my own town and stuff, but I don't particularly like driving and getting trains and all that sort of stuff just makes me very, very anxious. And then, you know, I went to the uh, Bristol meetup a few years ago, had a really good time, but uh, I was lucky that Caroline was driving and she gave us a lift there. Um, to go on my own it's like really anxiety inducing and part of me would love to go to a reseller meetup but I just think the anxiety of one getting there and then being in a room full of people that I don't know it's it's quite a lot isn't it <laughs> time flies I have um, finished listing those items it's about five to twelve already so I'm gonna take a couple of parcels that I need to drop off and then hopefully Hobby's made me some lunch upstairs. That was the plan, so fingers crossed. It's half past one. I've had some lunch. My son and his girlfriend have been round for a chat, and now I'm going out for a oh, doorstep for another walk. Not walking quite as fast this afternoon as I was this morning, but I just wanted to take a minute just to appreciate the trees. So it's a car just as you <laughs> just some of the trees are so beautiful at the moment even in amongst i don't know the shrubs and the brambles and everything it's just beautiful color of leaves remembered I was vlogging I totally forgot um I came back and we've just watched the latest episode of Big Brother we always watch it the following days so and scoot through the adverts don't know if anybody else is watching it but Trish was one of our favorites but she's just gone out so that's a shame <laughs> all the important things in life um we're just having soup for tea and uh, gonna get the duvets out because it feels cold. So I might even put my pyjamas on, it's only four o'clock. But I've been up since six and I've been outside and been peopling and stuff. So, you know, I've done enough. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I always appreciate thumbs ups and comments because it all helps my algorithms. You like my new word? I'm using it again. And um, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my videos, then please do and press the little bell and you'll get a notification for when my new videos go up. I don't have a timetable. They go up as and when. <laughs> Uh, and finally, if you do want to order from my website, remember to use the discount code NOVEMBER20 because that will give you 20% off the prices that are on there. Okay, take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thank you.